at Skedrick, you thought I was gone. Hey, anyway, I caught myself uh, taking a walk around the pond, but it was sort of so cold, so I just had to use the clicker and click my way around. Today's not too bad, I'm actually just talking a little trash. The, the temperature is like 40 something degrees. Whenever you go down like, to, the, to the 20s in Chicago and you get back up to the 40s, that's like t-shirt weather. For some reason, your body acclimates for all those freezing temperatures, but when you get back up to these levels, you can actually kind of hang out and chill without a jacket on. I'm just not taking no chances because I'm too close to the water. the outdoor living past couple of vlogs actually I may even do this for a while because the more and more I do it the more discovery I'm getting but I've been kind of talking about the why and why we do things and by going through this process of even writing it down and talking about it and thinking about it I'm realizing a lot of stuff I mean I'm realizing a lot of stuff that I've done in the past Isabel and I first started a design business some of the past clients some of the things that we've done I'm realizing that not defining that why and exactly who we are and what I actually like to do uh, sometimes cause issues because, like give you a scenario, I'm a modern outdoor living designer. I like to use more squares, rectangles. Um, I will use some circles and things like that. I'm not your naturalistic landscape um, outdoor living designer. So yeah, I'm even more outdoor living than landscape, meaning I'm really not into the natural features of the ponds. I really don't like the, I, I used to design round stuff, but nowadays I'm more into the modern square rectangle looks. And then, you know, you think back, you're taking on these clients who wanted more of a natural look or or some of like some of the broken up areas that kind of have the backyard sort of a hodgepodge of a full landscape everywhere and you realize like that's not you it's not who you are it's not what i am it's not what i like to design so i have all these projects not a bunch of projects but a bunch of stuff out there that i'm designing that's really not me so the more you define i'm defining as why i'm realizing who i am and it's sort of a key to life was i just squinting and this whole thing, I'm in the sunlight. I didn't realize I was doing it. One of the keys to life is to define that why. And the more you do, you understand who you are and the power of, of what you are and what you do. Not just in a design world, just in life in general. The designs that I draw is almost just like the inside of your house outdoors. So it is outdoor living, outdoor rooms. So it's not really like a landscape per se. Like when people ask me what I do, I, I say a landscape designer. That way they understand it a lot better. But really what it is, it's an outdoor living designer. I sort of take the room that you have inside or rooms and I take them outside and give you comfortable space. I pay attention to the detail of the materials. I pay attention to what we're putting out there. I look at the views. I look at the areas that you're gonna have wind. The areas are gonna be dry. I'm looking at the sunlight. If you're gonna have a lot of sunlight, low sunlight, there's a lot of things to pay attention to. And actually what those things do, they actually raise the value of the project itself. That's why I'm always like, we're gonna elevate the outdoor living. We're gonna add value because they're not just your basic deck or just like your basic patio. They're more rooms and like I said the more defining of this why of who I am and what I do I'm realizing this is what I do and this is what we do as a business and this is the type of clients we're trying to obtain on what we do we're looking for that client who wants that outdoor room who wants to sort of go outside and hang out and just sort of have that extension of their house yes it is three season I'm not looking for that client who's looking to try to how much you're gonna get return on investment honestly I really don't even want to have that question on the investment returns because that really wasn't a question you asked when you bought the couches it wasn't a question you asked when you bought your clothes it wasn't a question you asked when you bought your car so I really don't even want to answer that question in the outdoor living space because the value is you what do you get out of it what is your family getting out of it so hey a very short vlog today just want to drop you guys off with more wise and like I said throughout the week I'll probably do a little bit more why and, and I hope it, it helps you understand your why and start defining your why and you'll understand what you're doing you won't chase you won't like be chasing your tail running around trying to do business or trying to do things that's really not you once you define who you are you'll start handling who you are and people will start coming your way hey thanks for watching we're elevating the outdoor living